is you essentially are putting your money into 500 of America's top companies, 500 of them, so that if 200 of them companies go bad, the other 300 will keep your money up. Okay. You are you are investing when you when you invest in the S and P 500, you are putting your money into 500 companies all at once. All at once, you're putting a thousand dollars into the S and P 500. Okay. You're saying I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so therefore I'm going to invest in America's 500 best companies, and and I'm going to put a thousand dollars and and hope that that does good. Usually, when you put your money into 500 companies. Most of the time, it's going to come out ahead. Even if 200 of them companies go down, the other 300 are going to keep you up. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, but, but, like, he's putting the S&P 500 against an airline industry. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's saying he'd rather invest in an air, one, one stock. In one stock with one. Then put it in the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is the, it's the fucking, it's the, 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 the label, the, it's, the, it's the line where they rate everybody else's stock. Okay. You know, like if you buy Occidental Petroleum, they'll tell you, oh, well, fucking Occidental, I did the S&P 500. You know what I mean? What they're saying is that Occidental Petroleum made more money than what the 500 than companies, the 500 companies that you were for a year or six months or whatever uh -huh. time frame. You know what I mean? And usually people who buy the S&P 500 are people who don't know what they're doing. You know what I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know what stocks do what. I don't know how to read a fucking annual report. I don't know how to read a the, quarter. They're the ones that are not educated so in I'm any of that. Gonna, yeah, I'm just going to let my money go into America's top 500 companies, and because because the Standard Report S and P 500 always beats putting your money in the bank. Okay. Maybe most people that don't know shit about shit, they'll put their money in the bank and they'll want the interest that the bank's going to give you. Uh, be be your profit. Well, the interest that the bank gives you nowadays is zero point zero they're, point zero. It's it's nothing. They're not going to give you it. No, you can put a hundred thousand dollars in the bank and leave it there for a year. It, and still... you'll have a hundred thousand and fifty bucks or a hundred thousand uh, two hundred dollars. Well, two hundred dollars ain't shit when you could have put a hundred thousand in, dollars into stocks and made a hell of a lot more money. Yeah. So anybody who puts their money in the bank. And is hoping the interest of the bank it ain't gonna is happen. gonna make you rich. You are wasting your time, your money. You are fucking an idiot to think that the bank is gonna pay you an interest rate that's even worth mentioning. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not even worth mentioning. Hell, you can go buy a bag of dope and make more money that day than the what, what the bank's gonna give you. Well, the bank's ain't gonna give you shit. You know what the bank does when you, you put your money in the bank? Well, does it go for them? That's here's why you don't get it. What a bank does. Here comes John Conroy or John Doe. And he says, I'm going to put $100,000 into the bank. I trust the bank, and the bank's going to give me an interest rate that I that's guaranteed. So I'm going to put my money in the bank. You know, what the money, you know what the bank does with your money? They take it. They take your money, and they invest it in the stock market. For them, not yeah. you. Because you ain't got the balls. You ain't got the know-how. You're too fucking stupid to realize that we're the worst person that's going to give you money. So but we'll take your money. Yeah, because for themselves. We're not going to put it in a bank vault. We're it's, not going to put it in the vault. They're not doing it for you. They're, they're going to invest it. They're going to invest it in the stock For themselves. That's what the banks do with your money. Yep. They grab your money and they go, okay, idiot. You know what the fuck you're doing? We'll do it for you on our behalf. And all the profits are going to come to us. So we're going to make that $100,000. We're going to make it $500,000. But we'll still give you 50 bucks. You know what I mean? We'll give you your interest. We'll give you your interest on hundred, hundred thousand, whatever that, it can be. That five hundred. So what? Now, in a year later, I've got a hundred thousand five hundred dollars. You made five hundred dollars on putting your money in the bank, but believe me, they made thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Money. Yeah. You were too, you too much of an idiot to figure out what to do. So you put your money in the bank. What an idiot you are! You idiot. The whole market doing compared to individual areas of the economy. Well, banks don't do shit. So let's say, for example, you decide that you want to invest in a certain industry.